Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing to you my struggles of finding a job in Dubai. So I came here at the age of 18 and I just graduated from college at that time. So when I came here, I was trying to look a job and most of them were thinking that I am underage. And anywhere I go, I have an interview. They were sh they will shortlist me, but then after calling me, they they will tell me, oh, this is because you are underage, or we cannot cho choose you, and all of that. So it has been stressful to me until finally there is one restaurant that I applied. And they accept me. And by that time, I uh, I just turned 19. So um, he, she was very accepting to me. She said, okay, I'll just accept you here. You can work here and let's just figure out how we can provide a visa for you. So I started working in this uh, restaurant. But it has been very hard because like, I only have a one month, one month of visa. So I cannot process my visa. And it's tough because I cannot work without the visa. And I've been going back and forth of the country. Yeah, by the way, before, when uh, it's still 2015 to 2016, you are, you are not allowed to renew your visa inside the country. You have to go outside of the country if you want to renew your visa. So... At that time, I went to Kish Island and also to Oman. So I've going back and forth and it's really hard for me because I don't have any money and most of the time it's hard if you are outside and don't have anything to spend. Especially when I am in Ir Iran, it's quite dangerous there for a lady to go outside on her own. It's really dangerous rather than when I'm in, in Dubai. So when I was there, every day um, I'm, in, I'm staying in a hotel waiting for my visa to come. So I stayed in Farabi Hotel. Farabi Hotel has a 40 dirhams per day stay. So their rules is like, you have to pay the first 10 days of your stay for you to continue staying. If you cannot pay, then they will kick you out of the hotel. At that time, I really don't have money. And then 10 days have passed. Of course, they are, they're going to call through your telephone in your room and ask you for the payment. By that time, I really don't have money. And I was trying to ask my boss for money for the payment of the hotel because until that time I've been staying there for 10 days and I still didn't get my visa so uh, she told me she will send she will send by next day so I tell her okay I'll figure it out so that they will not kick me out from the hotel so I went to I went to the lobby on the hotel lobby and I spoke to somebody there and I asked them that can I just pay by tomorrow or day after tomorrow because I've been trying to contact my boss regarding my payment and they they don't agree about that so it has been very scary scary part for me because I don't know where shall I stay if I don't have something to pay so one Iranian guy suddenly came and he spoke to that receptionist. Then finally they agreed and you know what? She asked my <clears throat> number. So I just gave but I ignored him. So it's like he thinks that if he helped me, he can contact me anytime he wants. He's forcing me to go to places and I really never went with him. I was actually scared. I was with my friends and I told them I just gave my number because 
um, he helped me. He said he just want my number. But please don't leave me because this guy has been creeping me out a lot. So my friend never left me and I never answered the call until finally my boss sent some money and I paid I paid the hotel then I received my visa then I can come back to Dubai it was a, like a scary part for me because this guy has been forcing literally forcing me to go out with him and I'm not stupid I will never do that so I really called my mother that that happens and then my mother was like just go back to philippines it's hard for you they cannot provide visa for you because you're underage so just go back look for a job here in philippines first before you will go outside and i was really determined at the time because why would i go out if i'm already here I mean, there is a lot of people who's dreaming to come here, and I am here, and I will, I will not do something. So I really tell my mother, no, I will not go home unless I will go home for our vacation, and I already have a job. So I was very determined at that time. So when I when I came back to restaurant, got my visa, but it's not a working visa; it's still a visit visa. It's for three months. So. Finally, I decided to just resign because I couldn't even work. And I had been together in that restaurant for how many months already? And I keep going back and forth of the country. So I, I talked to my boss and I told her that I don't want to work anymore. I, I will just look for another job. So she, she eventually she agreed. And she support my decision. So I start to look again for a job. Until my father had a friend who's working here in my current company. And he asked his friend to help me uh, have an interview to his company. Because at that time, my company doesn't have any um, spot for vacancy. So where were we? Ah, yeah. Um, so the friend of my father who's working in this company helped him and he spoke to our manager and to our super head supervisor that he has a friend that is trying to, um, he would like her, his daughter to apply in this job, in this job. And maybe you can try an interview if you, if you will like her, then you will accept. So yeah, uh, finally, they accept and they scheduled me for an interview. I went there and as soon as I went there, everyone has been very nice with me. So I spoke with my supervisor, he interviewed me and he told me immediately that I can be hired. Same day they hired me, which is very nice even though I'm still 20, yeah, I'm still 20 years old at that time. And I was so surprised and relieved that they can still provide the visa for me. So they were just telling me that um, I should wait like a week or two weeks for my visa before I can start working. And I immediately give them all the things that I needed for the visa application. So yeah, that's how I started my job here. It has been very hard for me because I came here 2015 but I had my my employment visa at 2016 of February which is if I could have just joined immediately in this company would have been very nice but I understand that you cannot have something on the spot without working for it so I never regretted anything that I was experiencing before because it makes me really a stronger person. I have been very scared of many things before I came here and as soon as I came here, I've been experiencing all different things, scary things. I've experienced that I, I got lost in this place and I went through all of that and that's what I am proud about myself. 
so yeah um, guys I hope you like my video and if you like please um, subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for my new subscriber thank you so much you are so sweet and I hope you will still support me and please I welcome you all to my channel if you want more of story times anything I will do it for you so yeah um see you guys on my next video bye